there's this tree that is a major threat, the Chinese tallow tree. And it grows really, really fast in these coastal tall grass prairies. So if we find something that positively affects its growth or how fast it reproduces, how fast it spreads in these prairies, that's bad. There's now a moth that is also from China, so shouldn't be in these prairies, but it eats the Chinese tallow tree. And then there are these ants, the tawny crazy ants, which are originally from South America. So we are looking at how these all potentially interact with one another, the moth eating the tree, and then the tree has this defense called extrafloral nectaries. And when something eats the tree, like the moth, the tree produces this sugary rich nectar and basically calls things that could eat whatever is eating the tree over to eat the sugary rich substance and then also protect the tree. So that's where the ant comes into play, is we thought that the ant might be eating the sugary rich nectar and that that could potentially either be good or bad for both the moth and the tree. That's what we are really trying to figure out. How are these three players interacting and are they potentially interacting positively to facilitate one another to become even more destructive? The project was completely student driven. So one of the graduate students in my lab went down to Texas and she saw that this moth was on these Chinese tallow trees and that was new. And she had this idea that potentially the moth, the tree and the ant could be interacting. One of the things that we found were the moths increase this nectar production in the tree and that these ants definitely use the nectar. So we have some evidence that there are these positive feedbacks going on and that they could be interacting with one another in a positive way to perhaps make each other more destructive. <laughs>